So Jesus has done some pretty amazing things, right? <laughs> Raise your hand if you know the story of Jesus healing the man with leprosy. A few of you, yeah, no. Okay, so Jesus had just come down from doing the Sermon on the Mount, and there were massive crowds following him. And one man in the crowd had leprosy, and he was coming through the crowds to Jesus. Leprosy is a contagious skin disease, and it's pretty serious. There was a massive stigma around um, leprosy and the people who carried it. People with leprosy tend to be outcasts from society, and any time they approached someone or someone was approaching them, they had to yell, unclean, unclean, to warn people of the disease so that they would know to stay far away. Imagine how humiliating that would be. Actually, Sammy, where are you? Where are you? Sammy, can you stand up on your seat, please? Okay. I want everyone to point at Sammy and yell, unclean, unclean. <laughs> how did that make you feel, Sammy? Pretty stink? Yeah, I imagine it would. Because of this, it was a pretty big deal that he came near Jesus, especially when he was surrounded by so many people. People would have been giving him these dirty locks and shouting at him, and he'd be feeling pretty stink. But the man went forward to Jesus, and he knelt before him, and he said, Lord, if you are willing to, you are able to heal me. Jesus was so impressed with this man's faith that he reached out and put a hand on him, and he said, I am willing. Be clean. Jesus touching him is really significant because through this he also became unclean for touching the unclean man, and that was against the law. As soon as Jesus said, be clean, the man's leprosy disappeared, and he was cured. Jesus then said to him, be sure you don't tell anyone about this. Instead, go to the temple to the priest and offer him the gift that Moses commanded. So the gift that Moses commanded allowed this man to be declared clean by the priest, and he was allowed to be accepted back into society, back into the community. When society excludes us and we don't fit in, Jesus invites us back into a place of community and belonging. This story is really powerful as it shows us that not only is Jesus able to heal us, he is willing, he wants us to be clean and he wants to heal us and he wants us to be part of community. I feel like this story is also super relevant in today's society as mental illness can carry the same stigma that leprosy did back then. It's often overlooked or looked down upon because it makes people uncomfortable. It's not something that many people feel like they can talk about or feel like they can't reach out for help. And sometimes we can even make people with mental illnesses feel excluded from the community. <sighs> so, I lost a close friend to suicide. <clears throat> she didn't reach out to anyone for help. So I'm asking you, if you're struggling, please reach out for help. Talk to one of the leaders here. They're willing to help you or a trusted adult. Whatever it is you're going through, whether it's mental illness or a physical one, or you feel like you're being excluded from the community, or you're struggling with bullying, anything that you're struggling with, Jesus is not only able to, but he is willing to heal you. So I'm just going to invite you, over the next day or so, whatever it is you're struggling with, whatever you need healing from, Ask Jesus for it.